had an idea to create a mobile bus to take meals out to students in the community during the summer. During the discussion of creating this bus and the concept, transportation also said to me, you know, you just can't use a bus a month or two during the year. You have to keep it on the road all year long. So I thought, what would be the next best contribution we could make to the students in Chesapeake? A mobile nutrition education learning lab. They don't go on as many field trips as they used to, so now we have a live bus that comes to them that they can have a field trip at their school and still be connected to our SOLs, learn nutrition. It's just a wonderful opportunity. With our obesity rates increasing, it's really important that we start kids um, learning about healthy eating and nutrition as early as we can. Although we have a lot of nutrition education in middle school, the opportunity to have them come aboard a bus with a new teacher and to sample foods and to hear the lessons in a unique way is very rewarding and we're sure that the students will be able to take that information with them and use it in their real lives. I thought it was very educational because I learned a lot of things that I didn't know about food and nutrition so I thought it was really helpful. I thought it was shocking that I was almost eating over twice the amount of cereal that I should have every breakfast. Being on the nutrition bus was fun and a very unique experience for me. When people mention the name Robert Scott, the first thing I think about is just visionary leadership. Robert's the guy who thinks about it first and makes sure that it happens. I enjoy working for the school system. I enjoy working, you know, on the buildings and things like this as well and doing things for these kids. I mean, you know, it's, it's I mean, it's, what I'm here for is for the kids. The summer is the busiest time for a school division in operation, so he took this project on on top of all the other projects that we have going on uh, to help get this bus ready uh, for the community and, and our students. So he's really done a great job. His vision, the engineering piece of it, how he sketched everything out, he knew exactly what he wanted to do from the exterior of the bus to what he wanted to do inside, how he was gonna mount the generator and all those pieces. I've been working on cars all my life, basically, um, but this is the first bus. Congratulations, Robert. Your peers have nominated you as a school meals hero. Your hard work, dedication, and love for your students have inspired those around you. Thank you. Thank you a lot. It's just what I like to do, and that's what everybody kind of joked me about a little bit, but it's what I like to do. I like to build cars and things like this, so now I got a bus under my belt. <laughs> you know, it's one of those. You know, got plenty of cars, now I got a bus under my belt. Rethink School Meals, one bite at a time.